All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for part seven of our Dark Alliance playthrough with our barbarian named Wolfgar with the electric pants. But the last uh, the last act, we actually took down Emperor. What was his name? Hamburg, I think it was. We took him down. He was a bit of a he was a mage type, a sorcerer of some kind, warlock, maybe just spamming a bunch of spells. And we actually took him out relatively easy once he was kind of out of stamina from casting all of his spells. Uh, but that said, we are going on to the next stage here. Act one of the next stage, whatever that may be. We'll find out in just a moment. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for the, all the support on these videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep playing through this game, getting more, more and more done here all the way through to the end. And then we'll move on to more games in the future, more gameplay walkthroughs for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions for games that have just come out or coming out in the near future, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. And of course, if you haven't yet, leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot when you do so. I appreciate it so much, guys. That said, let's check out what we got going on here. We finished up the Goblin Shards, and now we're on to Verbeeg Jamboree. Verbeeg and Goblins had worked together to invade the Dwarven Valley. But some had broken off and had taken Anoragon's Forge. <coughs> We would have to take out the Verbeeg holding the Forge Gates before dealing with whatever horrors we would find within. To find the Verbeeg, we would only have to follow the sound of their voices. All right, let's do this thing. Verbeeg Jamboree. Sounds like they're about to have a party. Hopefully we can find some neat gear. I would love to get some more uh, leveled up stuff here. <laughs> I like his banjo. Nice. Unique style. So they are actually having a party. So yeah, that wasn't a dwarf they had in their hands. That was most definitely a Durgar. So looks like um, there might be some conflict between the Verbeek, the Goblins, and the Durgar coming up here. And of course, we're stuck in the middle of it all. All right, so let's look at the objectives here. We got to locate the Verbeek camp. Then optional, we have defeat Flicker, the Toe Thief, and his crew, and destroy Goblin weapon racks. 20 of them. I think we got one right here. I'll make quick work of these creatures and reclaim the yes, board. one. Nice. Okay, so uh, keep a lookout for goblin weapon racks, yeah? Goblin weapon racks. Just gonna look around. Like I, I don't want to miss out like we did on those mugs earlier on a couple of uh, videos ago. Definitely want to see what what kind of stuff happens when we actually complete more optional stuff here. I just don't want to take too much time to do it, you know. I'll take that. All right, wants me to go up here, so let's check out down here first. Okay, just some gold. Never mind. Nothing special. I think I can hear the Verbeeg camp already. Yeah, I can. They're still partying. They're jamming. 
Here's a chest. Apparently those were weapon racks and I didn't even realize it as well. So that's interesting. All right. All right, we got some goblins here. Let's get started, shall we? I'm definitely going to try to uh, get some more blocking in on this one, too. Actively trying to block more this time around as I get hit by a very basic attack. Ooh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Cool. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? Ah, uh, the momentum took care of my uh, accuracy there. Nice. Oh my god, my stamina just disappeared. Go away, yeah? Thank you. No one's getting All right. Until these we didn't use any resources on that, so it's fine. What do we got here? Some gold. Netherese Keystone. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye out on where that goes. Here's a weapon rack. Four out of 20. Nice. Nice. Oh, here's another one. Five out of 20. Here is a tablet and a chest. All right, wants me to go that way. This is where I came up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check this way. Little poison thing. A weapon rack. Looks like an enemy spawn point as well. So we're about to have another fight. Oh, that man got the double arc. Feels bad. All right, this guy's going to get the big swing here. See ya. Are you poisoned or? I guess not. Okay, job's done. Down to the chest. Ooh, a uh, hammer. Nice. Nice, nice. Hopefully it's an upgrade. I am thinking, though, that we likely will not have an upgrade unless we up the difficulty. I guess that's fair because, you know, they want, they incentivize you to kind of play the harder difficulty. But that also means that uh, I would have to not play solo to really take care of those. I could get through the next difficulty solo, but it would take an extra long amount of time of playing extra careful. And then above that, I don't think I would be able to handle it personally. Solo, that is. Okay, so we got 7 out of 20 weapon racks. We're almost halfway done. Let's get this caster type first here. Okay, that guy is dead. Any archers? No archers. Oh, okay. I guess we don't get a dodge on that one. <laughs> nice. It's weird. Sometimes you can dodge these guys like last second. Other times you can't. Yeah, weapon rack. Says he's going to work on blocking more enemies. Continues to get beat up without blocking. Little punk. Okay, I thought I was blocking that. I guess not. All right, this uh, this guy needs to go away. Stop it. Stop that. 
Oh my god. All right, you guys are going away. See ya. That's rude. Nice. And he's gone. Okay, here's this. We got eight out of 20. Some monies. Okay. All right, looks like a chest here. I'm going to go ahead and heal up just in case we get some health potions here. Nice. It gave me two. That's big. All right, what's this? Ah, that's where the keystone goes. Okay, cool. Some gold, some more gold, a tablet, tome thingy. Even more gold. We got this chest. Another hammer. This time a blue one. Okay. Okay. Music's getting louder. All right. Looks like nothing else is here. I'm just like quadruple checking for everything. Need 12 more of these weapon racks. Wants me to go that way, so let's check out over here. What is this? A button. I don't know what this button does, but... Okay, we pressed it, I guess. Excited to see what the party looks like. Let's hammer. Oh, I blocked it. Nice. There's another button right here, too. There's a button. Or there's a chest. Well, that's quite well hidden, huh? Let's not fall off. Let's not fall off. All right. Nice. Okay. So there's another button right there. We press that. I got another weapon rack without even realizing it as well. I got to start paying attention to that. I'm, I'm, that's like the fourth one I've gotten without realizing. More goblins will spawn here in a moment. Probably as I walk past. That's a troll. S son of a. Ooh. Not sure what I just dodged there. Looked like a rock from a troll, maybe? Let's take care of him. Right, let's hit him with this. Alright, is it just me and the troll? It is. Go ahead and use this ability here. Frenzy. Oh, that knocked him down. That's excellent news. No! Oh, I guess that would have been okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Last time I fought a troll when he uh, had the yellow highlight, he would just counter me every time, so I was afraid to go all in there. Get out of there. Ah, I should have just dedicated to the attack. Get 
Yep, that 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 attack right there. Right there, dude. Well. What are we doing here, buddy? Nice combo. We actually let that happen. Wait, that hit me from that far away? Question mark? Ah, that's a weird delay on that. Worth it. Um, we're down to one health potion, but I think we roll the dice on this. Keep the loot bonus going. It hasn't been too hard yet, so let's let's do that. Any weapon racks? Any weapon racks? Oh, we just got two health potions out of that again. The loot rarity bonus thing was worth. Very nice. All right, on to the next area. Oh, some traps. Okay, we have a path to the left here. Okay, so we got to find a bomb for that, I guess. Looks like more traps in the center of this little area. That guy over there is frenzied, so we need to focus on him. Let's do this. Weapon rack right here. Oh, those guys are getting burned up. I love it. Take his shield off. Smash him a little bit. Not sure how he missed that arrow, but... Okay, now it's starting to send enemies in weird directions again. There you go. There you go. Oh, what the? I didn't even see that. That's my bad. Whoopsie. <laughs> the fire is doing a lot of the work for me. I like it. All right. I think that's the whole area. Easy. All right. We'll go down there in a moment. Let's make sure we don't miss anything up here. We're at 10 out of these uh, 20 of these weapon racks. Still haven't seen Flicker. There's 11. Nine more to go, and we have to find Flicker still, so. Hmm. More enemies will spawn here, looks like. Oh, there's the bomb we need. There's a chest. Ah, there's Flicker. Okay, cool. And he's gone. Oh, a purple hammer. Nice. Um, there's an invisible enemy here. <laughs> All right. Well, he's dead. Easy. Easy. Okay, some armor. No weapon racks down here. I repeat, no weapon racks down here. Got some gold, though. They really like that song, by the way. It's been the same song for 20 minutes. All 
All right, those look like three casters. That could be a problem. Weapon rack right here. That's 12. There's another one right there. That's 13. What are you? I don't like this, guys. Yikes. Oh, this is, a, this is a bit of an issue. A fire spam. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's great, dude. Thank you for doing that. You're a real pal. That should get rid of that shield from him. Good stuff. Let's just... Oh, wow. He, uh, he hurts, guys. All right, let's do this. All right, that wasn't so bad. We're going to keep the loot rarity going. We're down to one health pop, but we might get some more out of this. Yes, we did. Very nice. This guy has a uh, a vocal solo here. He's got a beautiful voice. The songbird of his generation, of Verbeeg. Okay, here's another one of these buttons right here. See a chest over there. All right, he farted. Let's go this way first. Weapon rack. That's 14 out of 20. And a helmet. It's hoping for a blue helmet, but it's not. Though I have seen so far that rarity does not mean that uh, it'll be better armor-wise. It looks like rarity just makes it so uh, the amount of like passive things it has onto it. There's two Verbeeg over there. Plus an outhouse. So there's going to be three Verbeeg at once? Oh, man. That's going to suck. I mean, it could just be a whatever outhouse. But if you guys remember, on a, a couple uh, levels ago, we had to fight the three bosses at once. The outhouse broke out and a Verbeeg, uh, a Verbeeg broke out of the outhouse, if you recall. If you watched that episode. And there's another one right here. Oh, weapon rack. 15 out of 20. Nice. We're gonna have to fight a Verbeeg in this tiny area? He's gonna pop out once I open this chest. Oh, I'm watching it. Verbeeg I knew it. Ow. Rude. All right, better heal. Can't wait to make up some race. Now, it ain't right to be killed by a Okay. I've never seen that attack from these guys before. Okay, right on. What is that? I mean, whatever, he's gone. That wasn't so bad, but I did have to heal, and that kind of sucks because I have to go over there and fight. Looks like three more Verbeeg. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a weapon rack right here. Okay, that's 16 out of 20. We need four left. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Um, I just remembered we got the uh, explosive barrel for the door behind us. Uh-huh. I remembered. I remembered. Where was that? I think it was back here on the other side of this little bridge. On the right? Yes. Okay, this is a big chest. What's this, a painting? Nice. Alright, um... I'm going to heal up and hope that I get... another potion or two here. Please. Oh, it didn't give them to me, guys. Tragedy. Okay, some leg guards. We opened that just for leg guards? I mean, I guess we got this painting, too, but... You know. Was that there? I did check out down here, right? Yeah, that's where uh, Flicker was. Okay, we'll go this way. Now we need four more weapon racks. Hopefully we run into those. I'd imagine there'll be a couple in this room over here with these Verbeeg. Three of them though? I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I do have my ultimate, so I think if I lure them all together, it'll kind of help us out. Here's a weapon rack. All right, defeat the Verbeeg at the camp. Please give me health. Health potions, please. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Okay, five uncommon crystals. Some gold. Check on the chef again. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. Big swine. Oh my god, another one? Come on, dude. This is not going to go well. Dang, I should have dedicated to it. Knock him down, please. Oh, he's a trap guy. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was great. I think it's the fastest. Okay, there's one. So it looks like every time we kill one, another one pops out. Maybe. No, 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 none of that. None of that, sir. Ooh. No, thank you. Oh, I parried him. All right. And then he made me look like a fool anyway. It's fine. All right, these guys are pretty close together. We're going to alt here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, one didn't pop out of that one yet. So what's going on here? Oh, we absolutely owned that, guys. We absolutely owned it. And this is not the end of the mission. Okay. Let's pop that, and we're going to keep the, the loot rarity going. We may as well. We're doing pretty well. 
I am poisoned right now, but that's fine. Fair trade. Nice, another health potion. Another two health potions. So it looks like they're giving me two pretty much every time now. Instead of just one. Also, I noticed this one did not open. So I was very afraid we were about to fight four at once. Turned out it'd be two at a time and a third one popped out. It doesn't seem there's one inside that one. Okay, we need three more of these weapon racks as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Let's look around, make sure we're not missing any. This doesn't break, right? Nope. Only the Verbeeg is strong enough to break the outhouse. That's where it wants me to go. Let me just triple check here. Looks like there's something over there. Definitely a weapon rack. That's 18 out of 20. We need two more. Two more weapon racks. I believe. Do you believe? I think we can get them. Did we really open that just for the... Oh, okay. I say, like, where do I go if that's not... If that's the only thing there? <laughs> I was about to have a panic attack. Alright, let's do this. Smash! Oh, come on, you're still alive? Get out of here. There you go. It's for you, buddy. See ya. All right. So I can't help but notice the path here. This is where we got the chest, right? Yeah. There's another button to the right side as well, I'm seeing. All right, let's heal up and hope we get more health potions. We do? Nice. Is it another two? It is. It's been two every single time this mission. Okay, so that... I That's the, what, the fourth button, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. This is the fourth button, but... What does it do? It's pointing me over back that way. Maybe we go check it out. I don't know if that pointer actually means anything. We only need one more weapon rack as well. I don't know what these buttons do. Hopefully it's something cool. Maybe an attribute point or something. Though I think it pointing back here was just like a visual error. I think it's just trying to show me the path of least resistance. I'm going to check over here just in case because it was pointing right over here. Yeah, I don't see anything. I can't imagine they would make me double back this far if that button is all the way up there. It's definitely something that's happened in video games before, of course, so I could be very wrong here, but I just can't imagine that would happen here. It has to be something forward from me. At least I would hope so. I understand wanting secrets to be secrets, but I think making them a little bit too far along like that could kind of kill off good level design. All right, what do we got? A big door. Oh, I wonder if it opened up like a, like a shield around this or something. Nice. Okay. Attribute point. 
We need one weapon rack. Any weapon racks? There's a chest. <gasps> weapon rack. Nice. We did it. It gave me seven gold for that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it gave me a bunch of experience too for completing it, but just kind of funny that we get the 20 out of 20 and it gives me seven gold. <laughs> Okay, so we just got to find the missing Verbeeg, which I'm assuming is at this door, in this door. Oh, he's in the outhouse, yeah. Hey, dude. Good near Wide Belly. I'm seeing these spawn points over here, too. I imagine someone will pop out. Yep, there they go. Okay, everyone, come on. Come on, everyone line up. Let's be good about this. Come on. Everyone line up. I want to hit everybody with this. Here you go. My man's got some reach. Oof. Ah, oh, dude. That's perfect. You little bastard. How did he... Did he just slip in his throw up? <laughs> I just laid down the damage, dude. I missed that. All right, dude. Ready? Missed again. All right, please. Oh, nice. Please land this. Very nice. Very good. Oh, man. Once you really start to understand a couple of different combos that flow well into each other, the damage you can lay down even on a boss is just insanely good. Right on. Happy with the result. That was probably the easiest boss that I've played against so far, if I'm honest with you. I had him... Well, to be fair... It's likely because of the combos I was laying down, opening them up with the huge underswing on the uh, the hammer definitely makes it so oftentimes they'll go flying and you can just rail on them for a minute. It's pretty solid stuff. Like two, I have two different combos that I like to keep in mind. And now that I can flow them one into the other, the damage is just huge. I really enjoy it. Oh, we're so close to level eight. So close. Hopefully we get some upgrades in our gear after not having any upgrades in the last couple of missions. Looks like we got a good amount of stuff, so hopefully. Counting on that purple hammer to be the thing. Please be good. Please be good. Also, I am noticing a little bit of flickering. I don't know what's going on with my capture card. I think I might need to reseat it in my PC. Sorry about the little flickers you see there. Hopefully, I'll have it fixed before the next video. All right, let's check this out. 
Blacksmith's Apprentice Warhammer. Yeah, the base damage is just below our uh, our current hammer. And it has cold damage on top of it. Armor penetration and condition penetration. That is fantastic. Yes. Yes, yes. The rest of this is no bueno, unfortunately. But hey, that hammer is a pretty solid upgrade. Looks neat, too. Let's go over here and, uh, what do you say we upgrade it? This is at 126. We have the resources. 137. 140 plus 43 cold damage. Very good. Very good. See you soon, I hope. All right. Um, I don't think we can really get much of anything else right now. Yeah, we can't buy any new moves. Uh, we do have an attribute point. So let's make an even 20 strength. Have no feats. Okay. Uh, let me see. Actually, maybe it's time that we. Maybe it's time that we unlock the uh, stamina potions. Yeah. Maybe it's time. Uh huh. That'll do. Restores twenty percent of stamina. I'm curious if this is ten percent of. Oh, I'm sorry. The upgrade is 20%. 10% of stamina. I wonder if that means like for the maximum or if it just gives me immediate 10%. Because if it's an immediate 10%, that's rather lackluster. If it raises the cap again by 10%, then that's really good. Uh, I think a lot of this is going to be more useful on harder difficulties, if I'm honest for you. Like elemental damage resistance, physical resistance, ability cooldown reduction by 10% for 30 seconds. Hmm. This could be good to have on hand. In case we only need that much for like an ultimate against a boss or something. And we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up our uh, act one of uh, the uh, third stage area, the third area, part seven of our Dark Alliance playthrough. Guys, girls, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for leaving a like and a comment and, of course, subscribing to the channel. Yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. It's been fantastic. I'm, I, mean, I am enjoying the game overall, just kind of hanging out, playing through, discussing my thoughts, making it as fun as I possibly can with something that is... Not quite what I would expect for D&D, &D, but doesn't mean that it's bad, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.